All right, guys, we've got the first order in. I'm still waiting on the Sherman Max because that one is on a back order and it looks like uh, it didn't leave China um, when they thought it would. <clears throat> so I'm waiting on the Sherman Max. While I'm waiting, <clears throat> I decided to pull the trigger on the InMotion V12. So we're gonna do a little in, uh, open, open boxing, <laughs> unboxing. We're gonna uh, get this thing open, see what it looks like. Uh, hopefully get it going and then take a little ride, see what we think of it. Um, heard good things about it so far, so I'm kind of excited. I'm really excited. This one will actually become my boys to ride. So once I get the Sherman Max. Yeah, so that'll be awesome. For them, they don't know it. It's gonna be a surprise surprise. They didn't think I was gonna get one for them to ride, but we need three good um oh look at that. E wheels gave me some wrist guards with it. Sweet. And my plug. That was nice of them. I think they threw that in there. All right, V12, all that. Fun stuff, here's a charger. I did not get the upgraded charger on this, um, but I will with my Sherman Max. And um, from what I read, it's the same, same plug. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but if it's not, then I'll go ahead and get the upgraded one for, for this as well. Um, cause this is a pretty slow charger from what I hear. It's the, uh, let's see, output 100.8 volts was the 2.3 amp. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's, it's a slower charge, but this is not bad. Usually we, we run them throughout the day and then we end up charge them overnight and that's fine oh yeah all right this thing is a beast oh there she is okay put all this crap in here oh yeah all right so this inch wheel it's got the orange rim which is the upgraded rim it's a little stronger oh man sweet and it's got a kickstand does that just go down like that no. i'm gonna have to play with that i don't know oh you could change that no nope, that's where it goes Maybe it doesn't work very good on carpet. Anyway, cool. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Pedals. I uh, I ordered the in motion pedals, the uh, honeycomb in motion with spikes on them or whatever they are. And uh, oh, that's nice and rough though. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Please connect app to activate. Please active your vehicle. Please active your vehicle. <laughs> okay. Please active your vehicle. What's funny is it's on my phone. So please active your vehicle. I will be right back. All right, we're back. So I got it. It is activated. It's set up. Looks like it is ready to go, honestly. Um, the handle. There's a little button under there that'll kill switch. That's cool. And then you've got right up in the front of the handle, 
right up here, you got the release and lock, which I guess feels okay. You think that might wear after a while with a little bit of wiggle there, but um, I don't see anybody with complaints on that. But uh, <laughs> looks sweet. Lights. Uh, let's see. Batteries at 52%. 90 volt battery voltage. Mileage. Bluetooth. All right. Sweet. I like the bumpers on here to protect the lights. Chargers on the back. Awesome. Kickstand. Mud guard in the back already on it. I like that. Some of them don't have those. But a little flappy mud guard. I love this look right here. It's pretty sweet. And let's see. I don't know how to do. Let's see. Lights. Max speed. Oh, well, there you go. What? Not going to let me go up to max speed yet? Um, <laughs> so speed alarm we'll set one at 62 set the first one to around 40 for now um, commuting or off-road we'll just choose commuting right now I guess um, cool and I don't know oh there's another Another screen there. That's cool. Got all your max speed, your average speed, stuff that you would get on the app normally. Um, looks like it's all right there with a little swipe. And then temperature. That's cool. I don't know. I don't see how you do lights. Just kidding. So the lights I hear are pretty good on this. You got the top lights, then you got the um, high beams and you got both of them it seems pretty bright over there on the wall looks good you turn that off I like the the sounds and this this uh, screen here touch screen to, to use that's pretty cool and yeah let's see so and then you can raise or lower the pedals and so it's at the highest right now I believe let's see yeah it's, up, it's on the highest which I think I'm gonna leave it there because I from what I read so if you have it on the highest it's a little bit more stable with with fast speeds now this is the high torque um, v12 in motion it so you know max speed is I think around 37 um, instead of the 40 what 43 45 I don't know um, so you lose, you lose, you know, five miles per hour, which I don't care. I, I think I wanted the torque a little bit more for the, the off-roading trails and stuff like that. Um, I watch a lot of Chooch. Yeah, I, I watch a bunch of guys, but Chooch is fun to watch. He seems to like this. He did take a dump on it. He, he, he was cruising fast. I'm sure you've all seen it. He cruised really fast, hit a, hit a dip, and he was maxed out already, and it just it dipped, um, dumped him. And he, man, he survived, but he was a little scuffed up. Um, anyway, I ordered um, jump pads, uh, not pads, what are they called? Um, geez. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, ordered these uh, to go to more aggressive. Um, we're not gonna be jumping it much, um, but I like the security, I like being able to to uh, lean and in, lean into it and break hard when needed. Um, so those are ordered. Those should be here two days from now. The new pedals will be here two days from now. A seat uh, will also be here. I'm not sure how well the seat stays on this thing. We'll have to maybe do a video on that. Um, and yeah, I, I can't wait to show my kids this. They're gonna freak out. Um, because what, like I said, once I get the, the max, I'll be riding that mostly. I mean, I'll go back and forth with this thing. I'm sure. Cause this looks fun anyway. So, and then what do you do? Click that, put it back down. Hopefully that stays on there like it should. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So 
We will now look at oh, how nice that looks. Look at this tire. It's an off. It's kind of like a hybrid. It's it's street but off road uh, aggressive, um, and so they say it's a really good long lasting tire. This thing feels like it is maxed out. I am going to lower that probably down to about 30, I'm guessing. Um, they usually come way pumped up, probably 40 or, so or more. Um, so I'm going to lower that down and then I'll take a ride and show you uh, how that goes and give you my impressions on that. Because um, really I have, I have some, I mean, I've been on a, quite a few wheels, like four or five different kinds of wheels. Um, I'll give a comparison and we'll see how we like it. So anyway, um, I'll be, oh man, that's so smooth. Okay. I will get that going. Oh, and I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, <clears throat> here we go. We're going to try this sucker out. We got the V12 in motion, newer one. Just got it today. You saw the unboxing, hopefully. Huh, there I am. All right, got my just light pads on. It is hot out here, and I am gonna boil. But uh, here's the top of it. Here's the view down on it. So you can see it pretty well. Um, I've only got the 52% battery, which it came with. I gotta pro plug that in soon. So I haven't even gone anywhere on it yet. This is the first jump on it. So. Okay, here we go. Woo! Oh, you know what I didn't do? Holy crap. I gotta change some settings on it. I'll be right back. Okay, we started. All right, so we're back on it. I let some air out of it. Had to happen. I told you I was gonna do that, and then I forgot. This is a weird feel right now without pads on it. Oh, come over here. Car coming. Well, now I'm behind you. It is a, uh, right now, I have it set on off-road because it seems like a harder pedal. Um, that, that sound is kind of interesting. away from me on time of go, what, um, go that time way of, time of tip back and all that um, anyway um, I wonder if it tipped back because I have 51% I don't think so it's only a 51 yeah well they just shifted it wasn't full pretty smooth actually go past 15 miles or 30 uh, kilometers per hour. 
So anyway, we uh, sat around, got that done. It was a little slower because we didn't have Wi-Fi. So just know that if you get a wheel, you're gonna have to probably have an update that you have to do in order for that to, to work. Okay, so I'm on it. It's got some power to it. Got some watch out for the car. Yep. I got my son videoing right now. You're getting the wheel, right? What? You're getting the wheel too? Yeah. Okay. Um, King song, uh, music. Oh yeah, definitely. So we're taking it out. Testing it. Pushing it. A little bit. Liking it. So much more with the new settings. And what I did, he's got the Gotway MSX on him. Or he's riding it. <laughs> He's on it. Um, I got the uh, InMotion V12, brand new. Um, this, I'm gonna probably put this, cut this into the video that I've already made of the unboxing. So you all know this already. But I had some problems getting it to where it felt good. And when I was turning sharp, when I was turning and cutting hard, or just turning around and I really sharp cut it would be uh it was tilting forward or tilting back on me and it was really hard to stay on it and so i figured out i went on i went online asked the question to my facebook like buddies there and it was that i needed to do a calibration just a quick calibration there's two different kinds of calibrations I did that and then boom I could do turns without really worrying about it tilting forward hard or back hard so when you guys get yours make sure to do that you do your firmware update and then change your settings a little bit play with those I've been playing with them a little bit um, got it down to where I feel a lot better on it and we're trying out the speeds right now um, yeah, so, and I figured out how to turn it on to miles per hour all you have to do is hold down the kilometers per hour on the screen right down there and it 
will give you the option to turn the metric or whatever. And you do that, and boom, we're set. So, anyway, now we're just flying. My son is so, so excited to be on my Gotway because he's been on that little 14 inch wheel for a while and it only allows him to go maybe 18 miles per hour. So this is a big upgrade for him. He's so, so happy. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I was bouncing. Bumpy. Anyway, that's it for now. So, yeah, we love. I love it. So far, doing good on it. And uh, we're going to take it off-roading soon and try to test that out, too. So, anyway, have a good day, guys. Enjoy your V12s out there.